Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Born Heath. This is a new mod map out. In fact, the first mob mod map out from Brummy Farmer. 268.74 megabytes to download. The map looks like this. On New Farmer, we start with this plot here with what I'm going to refer to as the main farm and field 45. Uh, field prices, plot prices aren't too expensive for the size of the plots. They're mostly medium. We've got a couple of larger ones up the top. And there are, I suppose, a couple of smaller ones. Where was there? There was a small plot. I suppose down here we've got a couple of smaller plots. Um, we've got a large section down here, which is uh, like an industrial park. That plot is available to buy, and that's the biogas plant just there. 175,992 for the biogas plant. We have animals scattered around the map as well, which we're going to get to as we go round. Uh, there's no verges or periphery we do have a forest section up to the northwest and we're going to get around the map and have a look so we start here at the main farm there are contracts available on all 46 fields i think it says there's 46 fields and there are collectibles on the map as you can see we do start with the dog there is a dog kennel just around the side of the building we're going to get to the slot count on all three game modes from new farmer farm management start from scratch is 1431 so you will start with all the same buildings all the same equipment just on obviously farm manager and start from scratch you won't start with um any of the land you won't own it which is fine there is a minor drawback now it could be in something i've done and i understand now i know where the, the demolished button is and all that kind of thing but a lot of the fences and the hedges and brick walls <coughs> i couldn't remove and i just thought some people may find that frustrating it's just one of those things um but anyway all that being said let's go around and have a look shall we so we start off here with our sleep trigger we do have a wardrobe trigger just inside there there's no pickup hidden away and as you can see we have a collectible a thousand for each one i'm actually you know what no i'd say this every time i'm assuming i'm not going to assume anything let's go down and take a look in this menu here collectibles right hand column down at the bottom one of 100 so there are 100 collectibles to find across the map i always forget to do that so i've remembered dog can always around the side we do have a river running. I will say as well, the rivers on this map are very deep. Not canyons exactly, but there's not an easy slope down to any of the rivers. Let's just say that. From here, we're going to head up towards the main farm area. Now, in all the farm areas, or all the areas that have got animals... Once you've bought the land or own the land, you can sell any of the buildings. So it is possible to get the slot count down. And again, if you come onto here and think, actually, you know what, I don't want that building, or I don't want this building, or I want a different cow pen or a different you know, chicken pen, you can remove them. Um, as far as slot count goes, 1,431 in all three game modes. I got it down to 1,073 by removing various different buildings and things like that. Um, you may be able to give it lower, but that's what I managed to get it down to. So, starting off, we've got a 10,000 litre um, fuel container. It is empty, but you can fill it or have it filled if you want to. Some of our start machinery is around the corner here. We've got cultivator, roller, forage wagon, all our grass equipment tucked around there. We'll have a look at it in more detail in just a second. We do have a cow uh, pen. This one is the one with robot. So this will be your milking parlour with a manure hill, manure help, a manure heap built in. I was trying to say built and heap all at the same time. Uh, this is what is this? Oh yeah, this is 320 cows. So something to be aware of. As far as mods the map maker has put in, if we go into the build mode and look at animals, our cow pens here, the cow pens are standard 15, 45, 80, 80 with a feeding robot. Now, there's not one here that says the build mode for the map. So that cow barn holding 320 is technically modded, but it's not there. However, under horses, we do have one at the end there. It says Born Heath mod. The standard one holds 14. That holds 20. Uh, we do have, was it a pig one? We've got a pig one. It still holds 270, but it's more expensive. That's peculiar as well. 
That one, the standard one, will hold 270. So does that one, but it's a lot more expensive. I'm not sure why. Um, under sheep, we've got a sheep one. Again, 65, 65, although the price is identical. Uh, chickens, I think we've just got standard. And then we've got bees, and obviously we've got a dog already. Under buildings, we do have... I think we've got a couple of sheds on the end. It's just a case now of going in and having a look on a basic... I just go and look on every single menu, and anything there that says particularly. So we've got some sheds. I uh, don't think we've got a silo. No. Silo extension, we've got a silo extension one there. Um, and then container... Yeah, we've got a fuel container. Don't think there's anything under tools. I'm trying to remember now. I did right. I put a tick next to mods. Uh, yep, we've got a electric charging station. There wasn't under farmhouses. Productions. Why is this not? There we go. We've got all of those. Now, the uh, biogas plant that's on here, 500 kilowatt. You buy the plot of land, not the biogas plant. Once you've bought the plot of land, you've got access to the biogas plant. It's 1,180,000 for the biogas plant, but as I've already said, the plot of land itself is only 175,000. So you're getting a 1,180,000 biogas plant for the 175,000, which is pretty good. Uh, don't think we've got anything under sell points. Oh, yeah, there's farmer's market. Nothing under greenhouses, orchards, or generators. Uh, and then decoration, I couldn't find anything... Under check, it does say some train maybe a little, a little challenging. No, just checking my notes. Now, I couldn't find anything under decoration or landscaping. I say that, hang on, was it decoration? No. So, be careful if you remove, well, specifically that one, um, because that says it holds a lot of cows. And if you remove that, unless you've got a modded one that holds a load, but just as a warning, we do have a hayloft just over here. And we do have um, a liquid uh, manure tank. This is one of the extensions. Uh, was it? Was it four million? No, two and a half million liters. Anyway, we've got a liquid manure extension tank just here. Around the back of that, we've got another shed with some more of our start machinery. Three tractors, of which I think I'll just grab one that we can go around the map. Now I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to go around part of the map with this. Then I'm going to swap over. When I get to the main machinery store, I'm going to buy a pickup. I'll explain why. Well, as, as we go around, it'll make more sense. On this map, there's a lot of backwards and forwards. When I was going around trying to work out a route um, to do the map tour, there's a lot of out and back. Sometimes you get a nice kind of circuit you can run around and you'll have like, tracks that crisscross a map and that kind of thing. This one, there's a lot of out and back, which will become more apparent. Now, we've got that cow milking parlour there but we've got two cow pastures here each one of these holds 45 and because these are pastures these are the ones you put the animals out in the good weather they will require water but you won't you I think you'll get your milk but you won't get manure or slurry or anything like that from them then we've got a farmer 800 silo 800,000 litres we've got a fertiliser tank this one is the is it 27, uh, oh, 60,000 litres, a solid fertiliser tank. Then we've got one of the Karma tanks. That you can put seed or mineral feed in 27,300. Both are empty, but you can put in if you want to. Uh, we've got a workshop trigger just over there for doing maintenance on your vehicles. And inside there, we've got a telehandler. Now, out of all of the buildings, this was the only one when I was trying to get the slot count down to check it. That I couldn't get rid of. I couldn't sell this one. But from about here, if I look over kind of, I don't know, that direction ish, if you do sell everything here, well, in, indeed, I did across that entire map, um, it will look like this. I do like that big old spotlight up there. That really does illuminate a lot of the map. I love the map. <laughs> a lot of the farmyard. Wow. A lot of the map. Two size clamps just the side there. Don't know if you just saw just a quick glimpse in the next shed of the combine harvest so that's in there so fertilizer spreader cedar sort of dump trailer in this building here we've got our class harvester and header and then just over there we've got our chicken pen and the chickens hold 360 so that's the main farm unit 
if we go into here and up so I'm going to do a kind of anti-clockwise route round because of the way the cell points are but when we go from here and along this is what I'm talking about out and back this these river canyons that kind of run around I've only got certain access points plus there's a lot of fences everywhere so if you think well, I could put in a bridge potentially you might not be able to move the fences I haven't bought every plot of land to see but I know around the farm area I couldn't really remove the brick walls and stuff again that could be something I'm doing wrong um, but you have to come all the way up here that splits up to those there and you come back that goes up here but then we have to come all the way back down this side because I thought I'd just nip across there but you can't there's fences all the way around there so you have to come all the way back down to get to this one and it's the same with a few of these this one you come all the way out to here unless you go all the way along there and down which you can do but then you miss this one so you've got to come kind of all the way back then back along it, yeah so there are a few bits like this. that's why I'm going to grab a pickup I just thought it would make more sense to do that um, as far as our start machinery goes you've seen most of it already and the medium tractor is the John Deere 6230 R2 oh, of and the Fence 714 Vario we have got the Tryon 720 Harvester we've got JCB AgriPro telehandler on the trailers we've got the Cramper Halfpipe HP20 the header for the Harvester we've got our Kirkling all-round uh, Flatline 600 cultivator the Cedar we've got a Vagestat Rapid A800S rollers Dalbo Power Roll, Fertilize Red, Brado K105, and the mowers, we've got two Pertinger, uh, the Novacat A10 and uh, 301. We've got a GF8712 Tedder at 8.7 metres. We've got a GA4731 Windrower, Forage Wagon, and then we've got Telehandler Tools, Header Trailer, and Weights. So, a fair bit of stuff, but again, you know, you can get rid of whatever you don't want and replace it if you wish uh, now we do have just above us we go out this way there is a placeables area so if you want to start putting production chains or some other buildings or another cow pen or whatever you want there is a placeables area obviously with all of these and the landscaping tool if you don't want the big concrete slab here you can always texture over it you can paint it first then put grass over it if you want grass over it or yeah, whatever your big dirt area or it's entirely up to you so from here we're going to head down like I said we're going to do the route up when we get up to uh, where the machinery store is I will swap out for a pickup and then we should be able to get around a little bit faster I may still cut certain chunks out because there's there's kind of fairly long drives between bits you'll see what I mean as we go lighting seems very nice color palette works nice splash of color in the grass And you'll see as we go a bit further what I mean about the walls and fences. Uh, hedges do have collisions. But then the thing is, I suppose, I know a lot of people, when they say, you know, uh, British maps, generally speaking, like tight lanes and fences and um rock walls and or stone walls you know anything like that I mean that's really how it is <laughs> unlike a lot of countries where you've got a lot of open ground I know um, in a lot of places like Australia and America you can put up by the side of the road you can drive off road you can camp wherever you like you, you know in the UK pretty much everything is owned by someone <laughs> if it's not owned by a landowner it's owned by the government everything's fenced in we, we don't really have kind of access to anything and even the kind of national parks are still kind of owned you, you're not you can't just do what you like um, so it's very usual wherever you go for everything to have fences to be lined with fences and walls and hedges it's just fairly normal um, so as you can see we'll drive all the way up here the GCHB grain elevator cell point is just over to the left we will always down to it in the pickup but its access means going all the way up to the northeast so there are collectibles dotted around all over the map I do like the mix of trees ever as well it 
So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the fork. Um, there's a fantastic little bridge, no, a really nice little detail. Um, this takes up to the right into the northeast corner. And straight away I thought, oh, we've got a quarry, there'll be rock and stuff like that. There isn't, but you could definitely make it if you wanted to. Up here we've got a debris crusher, we've got a lime station and the biomass heating plant. There's this lovely little footbridge, I'm going to take that back across and we'll go to the store, grab a pickup and we'll go around from there. Um, so biomass heating plant first, it's just there. Lime station and debris crusher, just there. Now you could do a bit of landscaping maybe, actually I'm not sure if you can buy this plot. Can we buy this plot of land? Let's click on that. Oh, you can't, so you won't be able to landscape. But I, there's no reason at all why you couldn't bring up trailer loads of rock and pile it up and you could make it into a quarry, quarry if you wanted to. You just can't buy the plot, unfortunately. But anyway, so those three cell points up here, this lovely little footbridge, which I'm going to take now. Let's go across here. Water lapping. Be careful. I have to say the traffic is a bit unforgiving on here as well. Just be aware of that. <laughs> I think a couple of times I stopped to make a turning and I was just clouted from behind by a car. So, so main machinery store, vehicle store. This is also the reset point. So if you need to reset anything, this is where it'll be. Machinery store is just here. And then around the corner is your workshop trigger. A lot of the tarmac concreted areas do have these crack patterns on them that's what we need in game we need a, a, a vehicle that does tarmac you just go out tarmac in people's drives and stuff if you wanted to so bear with me just gonna grab a pickup okay let's continue i'm gonna whiz down to the gchb grain elevator just to show you so from here we'll go back out onto the road and then turn down here. It's a bit of a drive, we'll get there, we'll take in a bit more of the landscape as we go. I always find on maps like this when you've got a lot of out and back kind of driving, it does make the map feel a lot bigger um, because it's forcing you to take longer journeys to get to places. Again, that people may find that frustrating, they may not like that, it's just the way the map's laid out. There are some customizations done to buildings and stuff, which I think is nice. It's not sort of necessary, just standard. Big facility, plenty of room for turning vehicles. So from here, oh, spoiler, collectible, just inside there. <laughs> just in case. When we get to the next cell points, I'll just give you a quick look on the map as to where we've been so far and then we will continue. So, back up to here and out onto the main road. We're going to take a quick right in here. We've got the wholesale, wholesale market, wholesale market sell point. It's just here to the left. Then up over the top, so we're at the far north of the map now. We've got a campsite on the right hand side coming up. There's a sell point just at the campsite. points just there to the right and then we got the garden center now this one had me a little bit I was I thought initially oh this is a buy point for loads of stuff it's actually it is a sell point this is the garden center sell point but again just a quick warning if you come onto the menu and we go down to have a look everything you scroll down nothing on the right hand side comes up with garden center Everything single cell point here at the garden centre where I am now comes up as a separate item. So if we go to potatoes, for example, it says potato sales. It doesn't say garden centre. Um, and you notice as well, there's not an icon to click on it that takes you to it. Where all the others say tag place, that one doesn't. Um, if we go down, yeah, sugar beet, sugar beet sales. And there's a few like that as we go down. It just says... Um, the specific sale of that item it's more the grassing so grass grass and hay sales hay grass and hay sales straw straw sales so when we come out you'll see all those things here straw sales 
potato, sugar beet sales, grass and hay. Um, they're at the garden centre, but they're all down as separate cell points, I guess is how you would refer to them. Um, so if you're looking for the garden centre as, as where, where is it showing the, the prices, they are all separate, just so you're aware. Uh, moving on from here, we've got the spinnery just on the left there. And then we've got the grocery mart on the end here. The cell point just round the back. There. Now I thought I'd be clever when I went round and did a quick whiz round the map to have a look. As I said, I was trying to work out a route. So we've come from the main farm here. We've come all the way out here, all up the top, up to there, across the bridge, vehicle store, then we went down to GCSB, grain elevator there. We came back up, wholesale, then we campsite, garden centre, spinnery, here. So I thought, okay, I'll just whiz across, drop there, because I want to get to this point. There's a real sharp drop along here, and there's also a fence at the bottom of here, <laughs> which I hit, then I couldn't get back out, so I had to reset. Embarrassing, but I didn't show it, so that's good. I did think about going around here, doing these, then coming back. My best bet is to go back along here, and then back onto the main road, then I'll head out to here, which is the sawmill. So I'll cut that bit out. You won't have to watch me driving all the way back and all the way back. I'll see you at the sawmill in just a moment. It's probably the best way of doing it. So back on the main road. So back on the main road. You see the fence on the right hand side. <laughs> yeah. The bit I came down was a lot steeper. I, I just couldn't get back up again. It's just, it's just the way it is. So we've got a sawmill. We've also got, well, I say carpentry. It's um, Johnny's joinery. Which is nice, it's a nice touch. I like the fact that things get changed. Big area here for the sawmill. Sawmill production building plant is here. And then Johnny's joinery. And again, I like the customizations. Often you will get a map or maps where um, cell points and things are just taken from the standard in-game ones and just kind of plonked. And whilst the name has been changed on the map, the building still has obviously whatever it was previously from wherever it came from. Um, I, like, I do like that attention to detail. Let's say I'm not knocking anyone. I'm, 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 I'm no, map maker, map, no map maker. The time and energy that gets put into making custom buildings or customising buildings that are already there I can only imagine that, but it's just a nice touch when it has been done, that's all I'm saying. So, from here, continuing west. Now, quite low, a lot of them. But if you are driving first person, or in cab, well, what was that? That was a big old cat sign in the middle of the road. So the forest is just up to my right. I need the map back open, there we go. It's just up to my right. And then there's a turning. Just here. So we can get to the forest that way, or across from the top where I was at the grocery mart. This way, takes us to the livestock market and the animal dealer. So we've got the livestock market and then the animal dealer sell point. Some interesting buildings through here. Kind of terrace houses, but... Um, I understand my accent doesn't always help and I say things quickly. That was terrorist houses, not terrorist houses. That would be inappropriate. So, we have got sell point there, animal dealer, and the livestock market point just here. Nice touch as well is the fact we've got all this livestock actually in here and actually moving around. It gives it a more, I don't know, immersive feel to it. I like the fact that you have that. That's a nice touch. 
from here I'm going to cut across the grass here I'm going to be naughty there's one point <laughs> one, one of the few points I've found on the map that doesn't have fences so I'm going to utilize it I did think about grabbing a Land Rover for doing this or the Santana So, just on the right hand side here, we've got the petrol station. Some more housing, and then on the left, we're just going to turn off very quickly because we've got the pig farm. I guess you'll refer to it as pig farm. Pig pen, pig, yeah. You'll notice the right hand side, not quite an escarpment, but not far off. Um, there is a, quite a bit of elevation change on the map, um, which isn't as obvious when you're kind of looking, but the bit where the main farm is here, we've got the river here, you kind of see that kind of dark edge just there. If we come out of the farm and go across there, this whole section is quite raised high up, and you can see the dark edge along there as well. This high section of land in the middle, which again adds a lot of visual interest to the map. It just cha changes the look of it. Rather than having necessarily rolling, sweeping lands landscapes, a bit more uh, severe, I guess. So this is the pig farm. Now, you don't own the land, although the triggers and stuff are already here. But if you do then buy the land, you can then sell everything on it or landscape it or add to it if you want to. We've got two 270 capacity pig pens with a manure heap for collecting all the manure you need. Then we've got plenty of shelters, barns and buildings around. That one is a shed with solar panels that should... I think that earns you money. Uh, more shed space over there. Again, fences. Although, again, when, when I bought this plot, I, I I couldn't remove the fences. It, it could have been again. Could have been me, but I, I couldn't. And until you bought the plot of land, we do have a large uh, shed barn, but it won't let you open the doors until you buy the land. Once you bought the land, then you've got access to the triggers to open the doors. As you will see. Nothing comes up to open. As soon as you buy the land, those will open. There's nothing in there, but it's got a big bun. And we've got another liquid manure extension tank just there. So this is the pig farm. I do like the fact that a lot of it, as you kind of get her as well, it looks... I say run down, is, as in there's kind of a lot of weeds and stuff. It looks like it probably needs a bit of tidying up. It can add to a storyline of, you know buying it and needing to sort of get it up to scratch to to run it as a proper pig farm kind of thing if you wanted to or can you just leave it as it is it's done to you from here then we've got a bit of a drive now down to the southwest corner of the map You can see to the left hand side, still got that raised section I was talking about. Which by this point starts to even out a little bit down to the ground, but even feels like this. It's like the, the bumps and humps in the fields. And this one here, is it called a barrow? I'm trying to think. I'm sure it's a barrow, isn't it? The old um, burial mounds. It's got that kind of look to it. That's quite a big mound in the middle of a field. Well, I'm pretty sure you can't farm over the top of a barrow, but I'm just saying that's what it looks like. So, southwest corner of the map, and we come to the horses. Again, you don't own the plot, but the horses are here. Once owned, again, you can sell the buildings, landscape, add to whatever you wish. So, if we pull in here, we've got a horse training area. The horse stable itself, I think this is the one that's modded for 16, not 14, 16 horses this will hold. Now when I did remove this, this one did remove the fences around it because this is part of the pen. So it opens it up to a field if you just wanted to have it as a field, but again, or you want to, might want to replace it with a different horse pen because I couldn't remove the horse training area. A couple of barns and buildings. We've got a shed with an electric charge station in front of it. back to the map so down there to the animal dealer and livestock market fuel station round to the pig pens and we came out all the way down here we're now at this point here we're now going to go across the bottom for the kind of 
industrial park, I guess, and then out to the southeast corner of the map to check out what's there. And I'll be honest, the last thing I found as I was going around the map really surprised me, but it was quite cool, actually. Let's try that again without an accident, shall we? I don't want to give the game away, is what I was going to say before I had a... Or they could throw some uh, road traffic accidents. Or is it an incident now? It's not an accident, is it? So, biogas plant. Like I said, expensive biogas plant. But the plot itself, 175 grand, not too expensive to buy. Big open area as well. So if you buy this plot, there's plenty of room for expansion, placeables, that kind of stuff. And the triggers will appear once you buy the plot. Across from here... We've got to our left, the bakery. Plenty of people pop into the bakery. Um, to our right, we've got cereal factory, just there. Through the gap, we've got our grain mill. Then across the way, we've got the tailor shop. Now, because this is a big open expanse as well, like the biogas plant, and like I showed you right at the start, you can buy all this, these plots of land. The potential for expansion, production chains and stuff all along here is huge. There's plenty of room for putting stuff down here as well. Uh, sugar mill to the right. Uh, dairy just over here. Just up here. We've got a lime station and then we've got a cell point. Uh, this was down as, is it factory? I want to say that's right. Yeah, just as factory. So we've got factory cell point. Then in front of us we've got the oil mill. We've got the grape processing plant. Just here. Very quickly, we've whizzed our way through the industrial park. The exit is just around here. Avoiding any incidents on our way out, he says. Why would you stop there, buffoon? To our right, we've got the restaurant. Just tucked away off the track, just over there, we've got the restaurant. Then we take the next turn in, just here. Even these sections here, as you can see, you've got these low fences. So they're still there, there's still a boundary. So, south-west corner was the horses, south-east-ish, nearly the south-east corner, we've got our sheep. So we've got sheep, or cows, pigs, horses, sheep. This is 65, I want to say. Yep. 65 sheep down here. Now we need to take this track here. And we've got the farmer's market sell point. All the way out here. Tucked away. Now, this was the bit of what I was trying to do, because there's, there's plenty more of the map to look at. It doesn't have cell points and stuff on. So we've gone across the bottom there. Restaurant just there, sheep pen, farmer's market. Now there's a bridge here that crosses over. So I thought, okay, I'll just nip across. Same thing again. There's fences and a big drop down here as well. So unfortunately you have to kind of you have to go all the way back to the main road to come all the way back down 
which obviously I didn't realize. I kind of cut across and went across here, and you'll see what I've, I've found. All this sex in the middle, there's, there's plenty to look at. You know, you've got these little ponds and stuff like that. I'm sure there'll be items and things that I've missed. I think I've covered all of the cell points. I think I've covered all the animal pens. If I cut across, we should be right here. Yeah. I came across. I hope they're still there. I hope it wasn't just a figment of my imagination. Late last. No, they are still here. Look. <laughs> what seemed to have escaped from a local farm. We've got sheep just on the hillside. You can't access them. It's like the animals that are up in the livestock market. But it's that nice touch. And you often see it around the UK. In all different places. I saw it a lot in the Lake District last time I was up there. As you drive past open fields and stuff. And you know where you've got the mountainous areas. Sheep on the road. They've quite clearly got out of where they're supposed to be. They're enjoying their freedom massively. But also a bit panicky. Because they're trying to get back into where they got out from. So along the side here we've got sheep who appear to have escaped. Unless this is their pen. But um. They're just enjoying grazing on the hillside. There is a wall down the bottom, there's a fence up the top. There's no trigger point or anything for them. And I'm pretty sure, I'm going to double check this, I don't think we can buy that plot. No, so the bit they're on here is between this track and this road. We can't buy. We can buy the fields either side, but I can't buy those bits. So yeah, they're just it's just there as a decorative thing, really. Nice little touch, I like that. So, that from the corner here as you can see if we come all the way back up it takes us to track where we came out and we went north the main farm's there we've been around like i say all the cell points i haven't been across all the, the fields and the patches in the middle i'm just trying to look and see if there is a route round. you know what i'm going to bear with me i'm going to whiz back i'm going to get onto the road i'm going to cross the bridge and just drive across there just because I haven't been across there yet and I'm curious to see what it looks like and it will just give us a final look as we go over the top of the farm. We arrive at the bridge. And up over the top. So this should take us across the farm. There are tracks across the centre section here. I was just curious because I thought if I if I miss it, there's going to be something that I will have missed, won't there? But all of the hills seem to have this kind of sweeping thing. That one, obviously, got a tree in the middle of that one, but they do all seem to have um, bumps and humps in them. Again, just makes them all a little bit different, rather than just having a flat field. I guess it just adds a bit of a bit of interest, something a bit different. Although I would say. Longer cedars, longer planters, cultivators may not like going over the top of those, I would imagine. They might find them a little bit difficult because you get that kind of droop on them to a degree, but then you'll get to a point where you may miss bits. Same could be said potentially for harvester headers, thinking about it. Whilst they do look interesting visually, I don't know how that's going to pan out. So, anyway, that's the map. That's Bourne Heath by Brummy Farmer. Like I said earlier, for, for a first map, it's a good map, isn't it? It's nice. And we head back towards the farm. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.